the building industry is very slow in changing. They want to see your product, apply here, check six months later, check one year later, is it really delivering long-term performance? So when you come up with a new technology, you need a good strategy to prove and test and verify your technology before you can actually sell large scale. At the beginning, we underestimated that we needed certificates. So it takes you quite a long time till you're actually market ready, until you can actually really deliver substantial sales. So green tech innovation is not just about coming up with an amazing idea, it's as well about coming up with a good business plan, a realistic business plan, and being aware that people do not automatically buy from you because you're green. Green by itself does not sell. You need to deliver efficiency. You need to deliver value to your customer. The reason why my products with my German business are very successful is because our performance is superior than the conventional. So if you have green technology that saves people money and has superior performance, actually solves people's problems, then you're in business. So if you're looking at starting up a green technology business, maybe you are an importer, exporter, if you're trying to identify a technology that can help you in the marketplace, look for a technology that saves money and that is superior in performance. And if it can actually deliver health benefits at the same time, then even better. When it comes to green buildings, for example, I think one issue is that the general public out there isn't yet aware what green buildings is really about. One of my friends, he said, buddy, I live in the first certified green building in Malaysia. So I said to him, okay, la, so what does it mean? He said, I don't really know. We have recycling bins downstairs, but other than that, don't know. La. So he actually was living in the first platinum certified residential condo, but when I asked him, what is it all about? What benefits do you get? He said, I don't know. So we need to deliver tangible benefits to people. I think two issues when it comes to buildings. Sometimes we lose, we, we lose the, the, what we call wood for the trees or forest for the, you know, we, we, we have so many things, yeah, forest for the trees. We have so many things out there. When it comes to buildings, I think we need to deliver buildings that are cool enough for people to not need to waste money on aircon. Would that be good? If you live in a building, it's cool, you don't need aircon you would appreciate that as a customer. And if a developer can sell that, I think he will get more customers coming in.